All right. We're here with Susan Spears talking about the last week of the legislative session. What's been happening? Oh, what a deal it's been this year. It's been the oddest session ever. A couple things. We're still watching Senate Bill 202. That's the one we talked about last week with the funding for small businesses, the umbrella with GoEd. It's got a $30 million price tag, fiscal note attached to it. Um, As of this morning, it has passed the Senate. It's gone through the first reading of the House. So we're feeling like it may go, but I'm not going to promise anything. The amounts may change as far as the fiscal no, but this would be a relief to small businesses under 250 employees that would allow them three months of operating expenses. So stay tuned on that. We'll keep you posted. We're still waiting on clarification from the Utah State Tax Commission. We've given you clarification on PPP loans. However, we have farmers loans out there that we need clarification on. Health loans, you know, many in our health industry took out loans that were not necessarily a part of PPP. And then we have UBIT, you know, the um, unrelated business income tax with our nonprofits. We're expecting something any day now. We've been working with the commission, with with people over there. Just stay tuned, hold on, don't hit send yet. Um, we know that many of you have responded to the member alert we sent out last week regarding the Utah Chamber Coalition on the PPP loans. We still expect nothing will change from leadership. So make sure that you're doing that add back upon forgiveness of the loans. Session ends Friday night at midnight. So we'll do a brief recap next week. And in the meantime, everyone have a good week.